literally. I was just like throw out my phone. <laughs> but uh, I got the um, heirloom tomato with chicken. No, excuse me, this is vegetable crunch. That's what I got for this one. No, you're not, bitch. I don't know where else it's going. Why are you gagging? Mint, yeah. It's like gum. It's like bee bum. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> yeah, I see if you can wear it this way. You know. Sam! Hey. <laughs> Watch. Just use the door to open the door. This bitch just opened the door. There she goes. Look at her. Here she comes. This is Sarah. You don't met her. Hey, baby. She's so gorgeous. So, I know I haven't made a vlog in a long time. One of the reasons why is because I don't feel like doing my makeup all the time. Like, I have to have makeup on to do a vlog. Ooh, the sun coming out. Hey. But that's one reason. And I know you've seen it earlier, but look how thin my hair is. Like, when it's blown out. That's crazy. Like, usually I have, like, thick curly hair and it's, like, everywhere. But it is super thin. But, um, there's really have nothing to vlog about during this pandemic. Like, seriously. Like, I mean, I really have nothing to do. I want to say this, <laughs> I have nothing to do. But I'm, like, <laughs> chilling by the pool. But, like, you know, I just can't go out and, like, go publicly. Ugh, it's got a bug on me. But, um, you know, you just can't go out to places and stuff. Like, all the time. Um... What am I trying to think? Places. Uh, public places. You know, like, all the cafes are like, you can't shut down. And then, like, they don't want you to eat in certain places. And, you know, restaurants are so different now. So, I have been just chilling, just trying to regroup, you know, all that stuff. But other than that, like, um, there's really nothing for me to, like, really talk about. Unless it's like political. Because, like, they're going nuts out here. They're getting crazy. I'll, I'll tell you what happened. So, oh, this is a nice background, too. I gotta take a picture like this. Hold oh, on. Let me take a picture. Then I'll come back and tell you. What so, I was at the sauna, and like, the saunas are open in like some of the wise. And the one I go to is like 20 minutes away from my house because I have like the nationwide like one so you know, I can go to anywhere. So I went to that one and um, there was these three guys and they were talking about rhetorics and stuff like that. Basically, long story short, so there's a black man and two other like white guys and stuff. And they were talking about like how the coronavirus wasn't real you know things of that nature you know just bullshit and next thing you know they start talking about shits and I, I have to bleep it out because it's YouTube so, but you know the, what you basically they were talking about ripping babies away from people's wounds women's wounds and stuff I, like they were talking about oh they do it at 22 weeks I'm like okay where that's interesting so long story short the guy was like oh yeah and like the black lives matter doesn't really matter because you can't have black lives matter and he said all, the black guy basically said that all lives matter and he said that they're over that we're over here killing our babies so that's why black lives don't matter uh-huh like what? Seriously? Are you serious? And like I said, it's a black guy. So I had my headphones in. I had my AirPods in, and they were so loud. And they were talking about, like I said, the baby killings, the Black Lives Matter, all this other stuff. 
Then the white guy says, oh, what's wrong with the black community? It's so what's wrong with your people? So I just took my headphones out. I was like, no, y'all got to stop. Like, we got to cut this out. Cut this out right now. We're not going to have a discussion right now. This is not the climate. It's just like, well, you can leave. I can get out and leave. I said, no. I said, I don't have to leave. It's getting hot. Yeah. No. You're not going to disrespect me like that, sir. But I had to report him. So, it was a mess. It was a complete, utter mess. It was crazy. But it's like I said, it's everybody's. It's very sensitive these days, and like you can't be talking about that. There's too much stuff going on in the world. There's people dying. There's everything. Anyway, I don't know what I'm about to say. Ah, these bugs. So, um, drop in the comments below. If you can find out different vlogs for me to talk about, because like I literally have nothing to say. I don't have anything to say. I don't have anything to do or say, and like I'm breaking out because I'm in, in the side. Oh yeah, and then this is another thing. So this is a really strange thing. Oh, and by the way, so as you know, I am the nail connoisseur. So um, these nails are from Walgreens. They are the Kiss Gel ones. And these are like seven dollars so i've been doing my own nails before the pandemic before it was cool to get your nails done at home but um these are seven dollars i kind of didn't like the style because like it's an off white kind of like a cream i didn't think it would go good with my skin tone but it looks pretty good it looks not that bad and these are the go kind of a bit longer but these are the links only problem is i don't like maybe my camera will focus maybe okay so you probably can't see it here but like they got like it's not on this one it's not like that oh it's probably like this one they got like little tabs on them and you gotta like file them down but um but they're super cute i, I love them uh, yeah but um so that's what i do to my nails and then like look at my real nails honey like that's my real nail there look how long that is like, I don't play, I don't come to play, I got claws, I got claws, but, um, so that's the Walgreens one, and that's really about it, like, I'm so happy that my hair came out, like, super thin, you know, it's big fist, or whatever, but, um, so, yeah, just drop in the comments below, hopefully I can get a lot of views and like since I've been working on with a team now that's something new I've been focused on I've been working on the team so um, I have a promotional team and I know you'd be like well Brooke aren't you don't you have a degree in marketing I do seems like it's not being utilized whatever but uh, but um, I'm when we was in college and I wish when I was in college, and I wish they do it now, they don't tell you about, like, you know, social media marketing. They don't tell you about how they use, like, SEOs and all the other stuff. Like, I learned all of that on my own when I was working for a marketing company um, up here. And then, like, they don't teach you how to use algorithms and all the other stuff. So, I might teach a course on how to, like, do that. I think that'd be, like, very lucrative. And stuff because like it's a whole like game it really is it's a numbers game and like if you don't have clout like I'm not saying you're not nobody but like a lot of, you won't get a lot of bookings you won't get a lot of um, ambassadorships hosting gigs you know stuff that um, brings in revenue so you need those things in order to like you know be successful um, whether your platform is you know, selling cookies or selling cookies. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I need to stop being cynical. But seriously. Thank you. 
No, it's fine. It's just weird. I this is my first time getting my feet done. Yeah. So I've ne I've never. Yeah. This is new to me. <laughs> this is a new experience. But you know, this is a pan for myself. You know. Mmm, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like, I know this girl, like, she's still doing her, like, eyebrows, like, it's 2008. Mm hmm, like, the Jersey Shore. Yeah. No. Right, 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 right. And, like, eyelashes are the thing now, but yeah, but. Like sometimes, like I be afraid, like I look like Mr. Snufflewuffleus with the eyelashes. So, I, like I try to. <laughs> My eyelashes, yeah, they like this. They like fly away. Yeah, huh? Oh my God. The whole box, yeah. I like that's not me. I just only like I've been wearing eyelashes now since I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> oh, gotcha. That's so bad, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I look, look like halfway done, and then when I take off my mask, I'm like, oh, yep. oh my god, <laughs> she forgot to do the rest of her face. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep it on, yeah. And then like you can be super incognito, put some shades on in a hat. <laughs> Nobody would know, and I do that all the time when I go to Walmart. I like wearing the mask now, so nobody... mm -hmm. And then I put earphones in, too, so, like, nobody can talk to me. Exactly. These are the ways to get to ignore people. Put on a mask, wear a hat, shades, and earphones. Very glam, very chic. So, that's not a problem there. Everything's super cute, including my purse there. And the chandelier is my favorite. I need to take this mask off. The chandelier is my favorite. So look at this chandelier. So cute. Okay, so now I'm going to try on. Look how shiny it is. I mean, look at the color. It's so pretty. She did a great job. It's so, so pretty. Ah. <laughs> it's just ran to the trash can. But oh, yeah, so I'm about to do some more errands. But I'm gonna do some more errands and I hope you can hear me in my mask. I don't know. I might do a little quick play play. I rather wear this everywhere because like I don't have to do my makeup and then just put a little bit of eyes and stuff. I'll be all good to go. But because you know I'm lazy. But um so yeah. Anyway, I'm about to go. This dude here. He has a Rolls Royce and a full ass poodle in the back it's that's amazing let me get this flash off oh my god that is so cute you can't see the pool but like this is a fat ass car it's nice there he is there he is he is adorable it looks like my poodle that's like goals right there and he is enjoying himself with his bougie ass look at here Oh my god, I need, oh my goodness, I need this now.